Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to take a look at SCP-1217, an office complex. This particular SCP falls under the object class of safe, so no need to worry about any containment breaches here. Let's dive in and see what makes this office complex so special. For the security of secure containment procedure, 1217, a barbed wire fence with only one gate for authorized access is to be maintained around the active zone. The area will also have several chemical hazard signs displayed prominently. There will be multiple closed-circuit television cameras set up around the perimeter of the active zone, with monitoring by observation post 1217 Alpha nearby. At all times, a minimum of two guards will be stationed at this post. Any unauthorized individuals attempting to enter secure containment procedure 1217 will be detained, interviewed, and if they do not pose a clear threat, released after being given a Class C amnestic. Upon entering the specified area, SCP-1217-2 will continue its normal activities but will become aggressive when attempts are made to remove it from the active zone of SCP-1217. While it is possible to remove subjects from the area, doing so will not prevent the anomalous event associated with SCP-1217 from occurring. Between 15 to 20 minutes after entering the area, SCP-1217-2 specimens will begin to exhibit erratic behavior, including spontaneous pouncing and vocalizing. After several minutes, subjects will then proceed to protract their claws and attempt to repeatedly lacerate their underbelly. Eventually, if unimpeded, specimens will successfully disembowel themselves, despite experiencing pain, shock, or other associated sensations. The viscera and blood released during this process will form into a shape resembling a short, semi-coherent sentence made up of English characters. The messages vary between instances of SCP-1217-2 and may contain occasional spelling and grammatical errors. The blood will retain its shape if left undisturbed until drying. In some rare cases, extracts of other organs such as the colon and intestinal tracts have been known to fold to form appropriate letters, though this is uncommon. Excess tissue does not seem to be affected and usually pools a short distance away from the remaining substance. The mechanism by which the viscera assumes the shape of coherent text is currently unknown. The anomalous properties of SCP-1217 came to the attention of the Foundation on 2005, when a stray cat entered its active zone and displayed unexpected behavior in front of several employees. The building was then transferred into Foundation possession, relevant witnesses were administered Class B amnestics, and a cover story regarding the discovery and continued removal of asbestos within the building was released. Testing chambers have been set up near the entrance of SCP-1217-1. These chambers are equipped with observational apparatus and have been modified for experimentation involving SCP-1217-2. The designated areas for experimentation are detailed in Document 1217. Subjects are to be placed into these chambers, released, and closely monitored during the experiment. After the experiment is finished, any refuse is to be removed and disposed of by incineration. 